Russians surrendered Moscow cruiser to Ukrainians for $3,000. Sensational details revealed. In the announcement of the program Brave Hearts on the TV channel OnePlus One, dedicated to the Ukrainian defenders of the sea, they told about the sensational details of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the Russian cruiser Moscow, writes Glavred. It was a complex operation. Its result is the interaction of all security and defense forces and joint actions on land, sea, and in the air, and the rear. Many things we can tell now, but certainly after the victory, we will reveal more details about which we will write books and make good movies. The destruction of the Moskva cruiser was an important operation that was the beginning of a large Ukrainian counter-offensive and counter-action to Russian invaders in the Black Sea. Without the destruction of the cruiser, there would have been no liberation of Snake Island, says the representative of the Ukrainian intelligence, Andriy Yusov. Project host Valentina Kamaiko said that the editorial board of Brave Hearts became aware of the fact that one of the representatives of the Russian Black Sea fleet sold data from the GPS navigator of the cruiser Moskva to the Ukrainian military for only $3,000. In such cases, we can traditionally say that we do not confirm but also do not deny this fact. Of course, we receive data from servicemen of middle and higher ranks and this data often plays an important role in planning all sorts of operations. Andriy Yusov says, the representative of the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, Dmitro Pletenchuk, said that the Russians underestimated the level of danger. The enemy did not fully understand our capabilities, so this imperial superiority played a cruel joke on them. It seemed that some posts were not involved at all because this ship had three echelons of air defense that could repel the attack. Even after we destroyed the cruiser Moskva, the Russians did not understand our hints, and then we sank the tug Vasily Beck in the same area, says Dmitro Pletenchuk. Russia rebuilt its military after suffering tremendous losses in Ukraine, U.S. official. Russia has been successful in rebuilding its military after suffering tremendous losses during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, a U.S. official has claimed. According to Defense Post media outlet, speaking during an event hosted by the Center for a New American Security, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell stated that they have been monitoring Moscow over the last few months to assess if it has regained its strength. He said invading forces have almost completely reconstituted, thanks to the significant surge in its defense spending since the war broke out in February 2022. The support of its closest allies in China, North Korea and Iran has also helped Russia endure economic and military setbacks in the last two years, Campbell stated. We've really seen the People's Republic of China start to help to rebuild Russia's defense industrial base essentially backfilling the trade from European partners, he remarked. As of March 2024, Russia has likely suffered more than 350,000 casualties in Ukraine due to Kyiv's heavy resistance, according to a UK Ministry of Defense intelligence report. The average daily number of killed and wounded Russian soldiers currently stands at 983, the highest since the invasion began. Additionally, Moscow has reportedly lost 2,619 of the nearly 3,000 tanks it initially deployed to Ukraine. U.S. intelligence officials previously claimed the invading forces might need a decade to fully recover, considering the enormous losses it had sustained. But Campbell's latest assessment fuels speculation that Russia is recuperating faster than expected and on schedule for its alleged plan to attack a NATO member by 2026.